Onis. Ah, welcome back to my channel. It's been a really, really, really long time. I'm sure all of you have been waiting for a makeup tutorial, and if you haven't, well, I'm here, bitch. So, um, yeah, this is my first makeup tutorial in uh, 7,000 years. And, you know, what a better time to bring out a makeup tutorial than the, than during a new season of RuPaul's Drag Race, which I'm in. And I'm going to be showing you how to recreate and how I created and how I did this entrance look. I mean, oh, look at the material. Oh! So, you know, I love YouTube. I love creating content. And I love doing makeup tutorials. So I'm really excited to be showing you all how to do this makeup that I have on my face. So please keep watching, comment, love, and subscribe, and yeah. I did ask some of you to ask me some fierce questions on Instagram and on Twitter, so I'm gonna be answering those as I get ready. So this is what I use to prep my skin. I don't really use primer or anything like that because, I don't know, I just, I'm always in a rush everywhere I go, so. And I always get like, my skin always gets red, so I don't want to use any products on it to make it more irritated, but... So this is the foundation that I use. Oh my god, I haven't done this in a long time. Mixed with this bad boy over here. This is the best, one of the best foundations to ever use. So it's amazing. So, questions, questions, questions? Okay. So, John on Twitter asked me, what was the question? How long does it take you to get ready, and was it hard adjusting to drag race? Thank you for love you. Oh, I love you too. I love you too, John. Thank you for asking me such a fierce question. So it takes me normally, it depends. If I'm doing brunch or on drag race, I like to be always the first one mugged. It usually takes me like 30 to 40 minutes to get ready. If we're talking me looking, you know, and delicious, it takes me like about an hour and 30 minutes. This is what I use for cream contour. This black opal true color in Karab BC2. It is the best. So makeup advice that I would give to an upcoming queen or someone that's interested in doing drag. Honestly, girl, just, just go off. You know, literally paint your face, have fun with it. Uh, it took me a long time to get to where I'm at right now. And I looked really, really busted the first couple of years I did makeup. So I would just go on YouTube, you know, watch some tutorials, you know, know what products might work or might not work for you. And girl, just have fun with it. And makeup is art and art is subjective and all drag is valid. And everyone just, you know, have a good time painting your face. So this right here is a body blender by Real Techniques and this gets the job done so fast. I'm, I live for it, like it's insane. Crazy. It's been like five years since I've done a makeup tutorial so I'm not used to this, I'm sorry guys. Okay, I think my favorite thing from episode one would have to be literally uh, Getting to see RuPaul in person with full glam on, that is something that only a select amount of people have seen in person, and I'm blessed to be one of those people because she looks so good in person. Oh my god, like, I recommend you auditioning and just getting on just to see her. That's it. You could go home first, but as long as you see her in person, that's all that matters. I have just one announcement, and it's for Patrick Starr. Look at how rotted this is. Can, can you see it on, on the monitor? Can you see it? Mm -hmm. When are we getting this back? Because I'm look at that. I'm struggling. Girl. That One size running. beauty, please bring back the cheek clapper. Uh, she's so broader for that name. <laughs> the cheek clapper 3D blush trio in yes. fire start. Please bring this back. Girl, look at that. That and the lashes. That and the lashes. Mm -hmm. And the go off remover spray. I mean, girl, what's going on? Uh, I always cream blush because one thing that my face does is it's e it eats blush. So I always try to make sure everything is soaked underneath. So now we're gonna move on to powder, and I use like seven different powders. 
This is the number one. This is the Oyoma Beauty Translucent HD Trip and Smooth Powder. And it's, it, it's insane. This is like the best powder ever. It's talc free. It looks like my makeup is like blurred. I don't even know how to explain it. You're going to see now. Oh my god, look at that. Oh. <sighs> Just smooth complexion. So I only use this for my under eyes because it's a little pricey. So, and I kind of ran out. So for my entire face, I'm going to be using good old Airspun, honey. If you don't know what Airspun is, I mean, are you really doing drag? I mean, come on. So Bimmery on X slash Twitter um, asked me who would I like to be painted by? There's only one answer to this question, and there's two, but my number one would have to be Valentina. I want Valentina to mug me. I just want her face on my face. I also, obviously, Raven and Crystal Versace. I think those are my top three. So Daniel on X asked, what's the quickest mug I've ever done? And, oh my God, it would have to be for the viewing party of episode one. I literally, Got to the airport. Um, by the way, I'm using on the sauce Beverly Hills dip brow in granite. Um, I when we did press week, the first week when the episode was gonna come out, uh that Thursday I went out and partied a little hard and then almost missed our flight, landed at 12 on Friday, fell asleep until 6 p.m., was supposed to be starting to get ready at 6. So long story short, I got ready for my own viewing party in 35 minutes. And I'll post a picture right here. Um, yeah, I don't know how I did that. Do not know. This is how I do my eyebrows, you guys. I go like this. I hate doing eyebrows when I ain't going. Period. <laughs> so Domi and Instagram me preguntó quién me impresionó más del otro grupo y voy a ser honesta contigo. Nadie. No mentira. De verdad fue entre Nymphia. Y um, Geneva también, yo, yo, porque tú sabes, cuando tú estás ahí, tú no sabes quién es quién. So, tú estás bien confundida, tú estás como uh, uh, analizando quién es like, la más perra. Y para mí era ella, ella dos. Me, yo tenía un poquito de miedo con ellos. So, para mí fueron ellas. Hey, so, what I like to do is, you know, yet again, another one size plug in. Put, put me back on the PR, mama. Please, I, I, I use this a lot. So this is the Turn Up The Base Versatile Foundation Powder in Stage White. And mama, look. This is like, oh. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I like to get a brush like this. Now don't ask me no brush names because I... They're faded. <laughs> They're fully faded. I see so many influencers use this wrong. You're not supposed to use this. This will make it cakey. You're supposed to use a brush, swirl it, and then you just slightly tap it and go like that. Because you don't want it to be extremely, extremely white, unless that's your gig. But for me, it kicks up nasty. So, you know, this is how I like to do it. And as you can see the difference. Do you see the difference? Yeah, it looks good. You guys are like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, literally, you're going to see me next time. <laughs> 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 oh, like, the lady. I'm buying that tomorrow. <laughs> the, the thing with the brush is that it doesn't cake it up. And even if it cakes up, you see right now, it, it's a little kinky. A little bit of Fix Plus will go a long way, honey, or any setting spray. Then I get the one... Girl, this is a one-size product. <laughs> hey, girl. So you get the one-size... Pink powder, any pink powder really works. I like this one because it's loose. This is ultra pink. I hope it's in stock. I'm not sure if it is, but I'll be putting it down below in the description box. So I go like this. And then to cancel out the white, it's still gonna be bright, but pink always makes the under eyes look more look more soft. So this is a cute little bit. So now, as you can see, it's not as white and opaque. Now it's like pink and very natural looking. So it's extremely bright, but not too crazy. Do you get know what I'm trying to say? So really quick, a contour palette that I really love. That This is my second or third one, I think. This is the 
Girl, you can't even read it, girl. This is the Lunar Beauty, um... Outer Dimension Face Palette. I'm gonna link it down below. I hope it's still available, but Manny Mui, please. I need another one. I need girl. He needs some milk! Yeah. That's bad luck. This is the best. This is like, like, my face always looks good with this palette. So I like to use a little bit of this over here. Cause you know, I do have a really round, gorgeous, plump face. So I like to get a brush like this, dip it in that gray contour. And even if you don't have that palette, just get a gray contour and just go over right here, start right here, and just swipe it. Always connecting to the, to the lip right here. And that way you kind of get like a, a Bella Hadid effect, even though I look nothing like her, but it kind of gives that effect. Bronzers. And on top of that, contour and just warm it up just a bit. For blush, I like to use the NARS blush in Exhibit A. Oh, I just need you to see this. Look, I get a brush like this. This is, I can't read this brush. Don't know. Mm. So as you can see, look. Oh. Oh my god. Look at that. That is just wow. She doesn't want to show her beautiful face, but <laughs> you can get this beautiful merch shot actually by my other daughter that's in the room, Anthony. Do you want to get on? You can get this shirt on morphemelovedion.com. I always love to cut the cheek, Mama, and you know, cutting the cheek is some is, is is an art, and I like to use always like a pink base or like a pink powder to just. Cut it. All right, so while I let my face cook and marinate, I'm gonna move on to the eyes. Now that the eyebrows have set and now that the dip brows kind of like drying, I like to, girl, all my stuff's just a mess, honey. Look at that. Girl. So this is my favorite eye primer of all time. I actually just bought a new one that I'm gonna try tomorrow and I don't, kind of, I don't wanna try it right now because I'm gonna mess it up. But this is the Anastasia eye primer and it's, one shade. So I like to put this in the back of my hands with the Anastasia brush in number 18. This is new because I did get this on set. And I was one of the first ever queens in 2016 to get PR from Anastasia and I still get it. So thank you, Norvina. Thank you to the Anastasia team for always supporting and always showing me some love. It's insane that I'm here now. So thank you. So I like to use this brush back of my hand. And <laughs> four! <laughs> Season 16! Wow! So not only is this the best eye primer, this is like a literal concealer. So I like to get this brush and literally just carve out eyebrows. This is the hardest thing for me, so I'm gonna be a little quiet. Okay, we'll keep So up until dawn on Twitter, slash X asked, why and what? Why not? Why not, Dawn? Why not? I love you, sister. So as you can see, the concealer, the primer is on. Now I like to use the Anastasia. <laughs> <laughs> don't give me, don't give me no more shots. Okay. So now that the primer is set and done, I like to use the Stage White One Size Powder. So I like to put this under my eyebrow and just highlighting this area. And I also like to get this and I like to put it in my inner corner because I believe in inner corners being bright, light, and tight. Oh my God, the legendary Bitch Puttin. Girl, I love you. Uh, if you don't know who Bitch Puttin is, girl, do I even have to ask? The winner of Dragula, the Bully Brothers Dragula season two. She asked me on X, 
how does one blend? And honestly, it takes a lot of charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent to achieve the element of blending, honestly. You know, it took me a long time. And by the looks of it, sister, you look like you know how to blend. So I think you got it in the bag. Oh, by the way, um, so for my eyeshadow, um, I like to use this, pa this this destroyed, wretched palette. Uh, I like to use this color right here. I think contour and bronzers and all those shades, you know, look so good in the eye. I think if you use a contour in your eye, it makes your eye look up like that and snatched. I like to get a flat brush like this and carve out my crease. And I like to always make sure that my eyeshadow is going all the way up to my hairline for the ultimate snatch. I like to get this sultry palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I like to get this little shade right here, this little orangey shade. And then I like to slightly just blend this out. So I just reapplied the concealer in the back of my hand, and now that the eye base is kind of blended, I like to carve out my crease, and this part is very meticulous for me and it's annoying so I'm going to be a little quiet during this process. Oh my god, look at that. Oh! oh my god. So usually to set my crease I like to go in with a really pigmented white shimmer but I'm going to go with this peach color right here from the Sultry palette and I'm just going to apply that right there. And just set it. This doesn't have to be bright right now but it will be bright later, so just making sure you set that crease is so, like, this is so important. Oh my god, look at that. Oh! To blend this part right here, I like to go in with a really deep brown. It doesn't matter if you go over the line, because we will be fixing that later. So I like to just, you know, blend this out. So I don't think I did this technique um, in the entrance makeup look, but I'm gonna go in with this black right here, just a little bit, just a little bit, and I like to just put this in the outer corner and just make sure that this eye is sultry, this adds dimension, you know. Uh, when you put your eyeliner on, it's going to blend out with the black, and it's just gonna give that sexy kitten look, you know? Bien perra, bien latina, bien hermoso. Oh my god, guys, we had a little technical difficulty. The cameras died, the batteries died, the lights died. I had to finish this eye just to save some time. So as you can see, it, it's it's almost done, don't look. So I'm gonna be continuing this eye. So where was I? So this might look simple, but I think what takes it all in together is the uh, eyeliner. So I like to use this Amazon eyeliner. I'm gonna link this down below because I feel like everyone in the world should know about this eyeliner. It is actually a stamp. So this is how I get my iconic stamp right here. So this is not only waterproof, it is like, it's waterproof. But it's like, you know, it's like the best like eyeliner ever. I could literally sweat, do brunch, go into a pool, throw myself in a bucket of acid and it, this eyeliner will still be there. So I love this eyeliner. So, you know, I always like to do a little inner corner cat eyes, so watch me as I do it because it's a, it's just, it's a little difficult for me. So, to finish off the eyeliner, I like to use the one size eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, in black. And this is the Disney edition. I don't think they have these anymore, and I bought like seven of them because they were on sale, so it work. So I like to get this and then just follow my bottom lash line. So I like to start from here and then just start going up. And I like to take my eyeliner very high, very draggy. Ah. That was scary. Who else was scared? Me. I was scared. So that's how I do my eyeliner. And now for the iconic bottom lash line that I do, I like to say it's iconic because it's kind of iconic. So just a disclaimer out there, this right here I got from Sugar and Spice. 
I think Sugar does more natural makeup now, but the Spice does like these like bottom lash. I'm gonna post a photo. I'm heavily inspired by that. And also obviously Valentina very, very much started this trend. So I never did it until recently and it's, I cannot stop doing it. Like I love to draw fake bottom eyelashes. So I like to get an, this Inkblot gel liner and 77 with an angled brush. And I like to go on my waterline right here, just the waterline. And then you go here and then you go in the middle, and then you stop. Then I like to go in with a white liquid eyeliner. This is from Morphe, RIP. And um, it's a liquid liner. So we zoomed in for this part, okay? So bitch, so I like to get this liquid eyeliner, this liquid white eyeliner. You don't have to carve it out, but just kind of go underneath. And then once you get to this area, kind of just blend it out. So then I go back in with the Amazon eyeliner. <sighs> and then I like to go from this starting point. And then I just like to go like this. Carve out the bottom. Right there. So there's that. You can stop here, but I like to have fake bottom eyelashes. I don't know how else to explain this, but I start from here and I draw a little line. Then I draw another little line and I connect them. And then I just go like that. And I like to do four. Some people do five or six. I like to do four because I like to look like a Latina cartoon brat doll character from a telenovela or something. I don't know. Um, so I like to just... And that's how you do it, babe. Now to finish off the eyes, I, mama, if you don't know what Stila is, Stila is the one of the best products ever, and I like to use this on my eyelids. So I get the Stila, and I just go like that, just to add up, just some shimmer. Ah, oh, look at that! Oh my god, just stunning, stunning, fabulous, gorgeous. <laughs> Then I like to use the Urban Decay Glitter Eyeliner and this little white part that you see right here, this little inner corner, I like to just put some glitter here. And just, oh my god, look at that. Ooh, stunning. That's all for me. I always get some powder to set my eyebrows, just so you know. You always gotta set the eyebrows. I fully forgot to do that, so I'm doing it now. For my eyebrows, you have all seen this trick on the one and only Valentina and with the same Amazon eyeliner. I like to just draw little hairs. So moving on to the complexion. And now that I contoured my nose with that same contour um, shade, I like to get MAC Studio Fix in the color NW30 with this foundation brush, and this is what makes the magic happen. I like I like to swirl, coat, coat that brush, honey, coat that brush. And what I do is, you see all this lovely work, it's gonna look crazy, but just trust the process. I like to just stipple, then swirl, go back in, stipple, then swirl. Do not go under your eyes, never do that. This just blends out everything that is on your face. Don't forget the forehead. Dab, 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 dab. So it looks a little crazy. So what I do now is I get that little power puff and then I start carving out my nose. Going back in with the highlight. And then going back in, and then, and then going back in with that blush. Then I like to do this little nose trick. To give a little sun kiss look. The chin, the forehead. And then that's when you look airbrushed, my darling. So now that the face is... Delicious. Just a little bit. Go back in with the, oh, you know. Go back in with the highlight really quick, just right here, just to 
still so you don't have some highlight in the face without looking too crazy. This is the part where I get my MAC Fix Plus from MAC Cosmetics oh, and just soak my face in this product and then dry it after. So I'm going to show you what that's like. Oh, so you know people like to use like, you know, these like fans, right? Like these like cheap Amazon fans. What's in my eye? I like to use this. This is for Amazon and it. <laughs> that was good. Oh! Well. Ooh. Now that the face is set, feels sticky and gorgeous and supple, I like to go back in with the Stila. Oh, this is my favorite part of the makeup process. So I like to go just on the tip of my nose. Oh. So then I like to uh, swirl it with my ring finger. So I like to smile like this and then just dab. So I don't really have high cheekbones, I have more apples. So when I smile, you see a little ping, you know, right there. So Living For Q asks, why do you smell like Baru? And... Is that it? Is that, that the question? That's, that's the whole question. She says, why do you smell like you know, people were coming for me as the villain for episode one, and I think it's time for people, it's time for me to speak my truth and let the world know the real Q and who she really is as a person. So, stay tuned for the next video. I'm basically done. Oh my god! Now it's time for lip liner. We're almost done with the whole makeup process. The lip liner that I love to use is my, I used to use Chestnut for MAC, but now I am a Night Moth girl. And you're gonna see why. This is like a deep plum purple. And uh, I just love when Latina girls use like a really dark lip liner with like a nude lip. But in the episode I did wear red lips, so I'm gonna go with Night Moth. All right, you guys, so we're officially almost done. Actually, we're done, and this right here is the... I cannot live without this product. Ever since Mother Gaga herself released this product, I haven't been the same. This is the House Labs Atomic Shake Lit Lacquer. This is in the shade... Ruby Shine. Ruby Shine. Thank you. It's kind of like a gloss that's matte. So you can perform with this and it won't get, your hair won't get caught in your lips. I mean, girl, it's just insane. Oh. Oh my god, uh, some, oh no. <laughs> um, uh, hi sister, I'm filming. Uh, so this wretched, disgusting human being just called me. Everyone say hi to Q. <laughs> Sorry, can you repeat your nasty little mouth? <laughs> you couldn't get the shot and you're still filming, it's been a while. <laughs> So we just answered your question. Do you have another before the video ends? Um, what's your talking process like? <laughs> <laughs> Love you so much, sister. I can't wait to see you on Drag Race. You are just such an inspiration. I uh, I love you. Mwah. Bye, sister. Oh, so everybody say bye to Q. That's enough camera time. Bye. All right, you guys, we are basically done with the makeup process. Now, the final touch that I hope if some of you would like to recreate this look, if you want to, you can, if you don't, you don't, it's, it's fine with me, but, you know, I didn't create this, 
This is inspired heavily by Marina and the Diamonds, Electra Heart, like 11, 12 years ago. I mean, she was my first concert, so um, it's usually a heart, but now I do a star to make it a little different. So I get the Amazon eyeliner that I was telling you about, and I just go, and that's it. And this shit is waterproof, honey. I promise you, it is. it will not go away. And all I'm missing is eyelashes, nails, everything. But yeah, I think it's time to get into the entrance look. So I'll be right back. Ah! And this is the official full look. I mean, it's a little bit different. The hair got changed a little bit thanks to my daughter, my baby Chris. I have new nails thanks to my beautiful baby sister, Star Nails, Kimberly. She did these rhinestone nails for press week and I just had to use them for this look. And you know, the earrings are from a flea market, so. And obviously, you know, the outfit is inspired by the one and only Kelly Uchis and Yohan Elisir Design recreated this for me and also uh, Brishan Crystals, you know, stoned it. So it's a lot of work, bitch, to look this good. A whole team, bitch. So I'm just like so happy that this is my first official makeup tutorial after five years of being absent from YouTube. It's insane. And obviously, you know, I just had to come back. <laughs> if, you have, if you have time for one bonus one. A bonus question. How did you see become your daughter and will we see more of her in the future? All right, guys. So that was the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm just I'm so grateful and I'm so happy to be a part of RuPaul's Drag Race season 16. It's surreal to even say it and for it to come out of my mouth. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this video. It's my first makeup tutorial in a really long time. So I hope you enjoyed it. Many more will be coming in the future, but I really thank you all for sticking with me through this whole insane process. And I hope to see you in the next video. Please tune in to RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16, only on MTV on Fridays at 8 p.m. Ah! They know it's 8 p.m., bitch. They know what 8 p.m. means. 8 p.m. Eastern Time. But it's 5 p.m. for baseball. Oh, that's right. And please tune in to RuPaul's Drag Race Season 16 on MTV at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> Um, yeah, on Friday. So work, diva. Yes, queen. You better work, mama. Where's my kitty? Four. Uh, four. And uh, I love you all so much. And I've had quite too many. What's <laughs>